2007. He's the most influential lawyer on Bay Street. People flock to him for his governance thoughts, his mentoring, his philanthropy, his perspective as a former CEO. And he is asked to save the country by resolving the crisis over third-party asset-backed commercial paper and the $35 billion that was then sitting in a deep freeze because of panic in global financial markets. Resolving that was a little like sausage making. You know, the line is not pretty, but he got it done. And there are people in this room who no doubt are still feeling pain from that whole experience. He did it because of his emotional maturity. And it meant that Canada did not go through a terrible exercise of expensive litigation. It, it meant that we could resolve this crisis and come through the financial, bigger financial crisis in much better shape than most other global economies, and TIFF was certainly a part of that as well. Purdy practiced the soft skills, the lessons learned on that dusty road in Five Islands. When the wrong word, confrontation, can destroy a relationship or set a great project off kilter. The last time I saw Purdy, he sketched out the events that would accompany the publication of this book because we talked often. There would be a big event to open the Purdy Crawford Center for the Arts at Mount Allison, and we, I was there. And yes, he would be here at the Rotman event right beside me, he felt. It didn't happen because Purdy died in mid-August, as you know. But he is here, of course, in his bright, energetic children, his beautiful high school sweetheart, B. And all of you, Purdy's people, whether you know it or not, you're Purdy's people, the army that runs universities and faculties and law firms and regulatory bodies of transformative CEOs and senior executives at major banks and transportation companies. And Purdy's reach extended from the guy who ran the service station to the Governor General of Canada, the people he influenced. Now, John Bragg is here. Nova Scotia business leader, from blueberries to blackberries, I like to say. Um, he had that thought in mind when he and I started talking about a biography of Purdy. Gordon, he said, we, we got to do a book on Purdy the mentor. The fact that Purdy has been a mentor before it was fashionable, before it became a buzzword. Purdy was a bit abashed by it all, but he signed on. And uh, I asked Purdy about the people he'd mentored, and he gave, he gave me a list. And these are people he felt mentored him as well. They're everyone from Ed Clark to, um, to Peter Mansbridge. His influence did not arise from the folks he knew, but the people he reached out to and helped along the way.